Hi everyone, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I want to first say that this video is not intended for anyone under the age of 18. If you are under the age of 18, I ask that you please be respectful and go watch a video that is targeted to your age group. Thank you very much. All right, isn't this gorgeous? Ah, I love it so much. Yay! <laughs> I've been working really hard and having lots of fun and creating a big mess, a bigger mess. Oop, I'm a little... There we go. Um, I found a way to prop this up. So, um, anyway, this is an SVG file from the Dreaming Tree, and it's called the Ex Egg Exquisite Easter Egg. Oh, I messed it up. It was balanced so nicely. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna work anymore. Okay, no worries. We're gonna set that over there. Um, this is one that I am in the process of working on still. I'm going to say that the egg itself from top to bottom of the egg is seven inches, about seven inches. You got this, which is about a half an inch, and then the rosette on top of that. And the bling, the rhinestone, oh, see it does open. The rhinestone is right here. I just got this off of Amazon. And it's from this Han, Hanbei. There's a number. Ooh. I don't know if that helps, but I will put the link as much as I can of a link down below. Um, I think this is so pretty. So I'm sure camera's not going to pick up on all that sparkly rainbow color going on in there. Um, this does open up. It is quite large. My whole hand can fit in there. So I will say that um, this is a labor of love. <laughs> this took, if you can see all those little triangles in here, those all needed to be folded and um, glued down. And before any of this prettiness, pretty, pretty, pretty stuff can be added on. <clears throat> oh, I just keep picking lint up from everywhere. Uh, I will say this one was my first one, the pink one. And the structure of the egg, just this part, folding and creasing. Because I was taking my time, I was being very meticulous. I wanted to make sure that it sat right and the lid fit on top perfectly and I didn't have any problems, so it did take me four hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, Leo over at Dreaming Tree, he has the video where he started from start to finish in under two hours. He knows what he's doing. I, did, I mean, I, I again, I was being very meticulous because I wanted to make sure that they fit. These are gifts for other people, and um, I wanted to make sure it fit and it was right, and... Um, everything, I mean, it, look at that. It's like seamless. Their design is amazing. So it is an SVG. I will say that I thought of this, um, that any SVG file that you get, because Brother has the Chemist Workspace, which is a free source to any crafter out there. And I believe that any of the designs that you use on the brothers on this canvas workspace can be sent to your printer and printed and fussy cut out to make a project. So if any of their, they're not SVGs, but they're, you know, I can, this is an SVG and I download it or, or yeah, into my computer and I, Load it into my canvas workspace. So if I can do that, then it can be, I'm assuming, printed and fussy cut. That being said, I know that um, I some of the pieces had to be cut to um, using a 12 by 12. Um, there was room on either side and up and down, but you can always resize patterns to make them smaller, which I do have a pattern 
I did resize this to make a mini one. I just haven't done it yet. All right. So we talked, did we talk about the glue? Okay, I don't remember if I mentioned the rhinestones. I think I did, that they came from Hanbei, and I will link them below. I got them off of Amazon. Oh, oh, you know what? I purchased this on Amazon, and it said it would arrive in three days, and it's supposed to arrive on Monday, and it came on Sunday. So it only came in two days. So... Yay! Yay! Thank you so much, Hongbei! I appreciate it so much. Okay, we're gonna move. Oh, this paper is from... Oh, it's just... Oh, I'm gonna have to vacuum it or something. <laughs> um, this is from Craftsmart from Michaels. Um, it's a purple. I'll, I'll figure it out and put it in the description box. Okay, so um, I also want to say that I have signed up for being an affiliate to Dreamy Tree. What that means is I will put a link in the description box to Dreamy Tree. And if you go over and buy anything from them, um, I will get, I guess, a commission from them. So I'm not going to say, you know, you need to go over and buy something from so that I get the money. What I am going to say is that Dreaming Tree is an amazing company. They make beautiful projects and every single one of their projects has a tutorial, video tutorial and Leo walks you through step by step and everything is amazing, easy to follow. You can go back and look at it over and over and over and over and this is, this is, you know, this is what happened. I went over to Dreamy Tree. I bought this last year. Oh, come on. How did they do this? There we go. Ugh. And I bought it in their bundle. They have an Easter bundle. It has a top hat with a bunny ears on it. Um, Ebony at um, Sherry Moore. She did the hat without the bunny ears. <clears throat> and then I made the little egg, the chicks that come out of the Easter egg, or the egg carton last year. And then this one is part of it. And there's always a freebie that comes with it. So even if you don't want to, you know, if you don't have a silhouette, a cameo, or a brother scan and cut, <clears throat> and you want to try a small project, download it to your computer, get the canvas workspace and send it to your printer if you want to test that out a freebie is always a good one so that is i'm just bringing this in so it's more instead of just a little corner um so okay so everything you see here is included minus the trims but the the flowers there's four flowers one two three four and leaves and it's supposed to be greenery. Um, the flower with the stamen, the rosette, the base, the trim, the white. Oh, you can't see it here. This, this sparkly white, this glittery white. That's from, that's a pattern that you cut out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the panels, the structure, it's all included. The only thing that I cut out is this butterfly that I, they put um, a little egg finial up here and more sturdy, but I didn't have anything like that. And I'm not, because of the coronavirus, I am not going outside. Um, so I had the idea, put up butterfly and I think it's it turned out really pretty this is an SVG from um, silhouette design store it was a free one at the time and I just created a halo to go out there and it cut out really nice I was very impressed with my scan and cut for cutting that intricate design out you can see it's very intricate 
Sometimes I have a hard time with that. And it's mostly because my mat is not always sticky. I'm having a hard time balancing this. I had it at one time. But, um, I really love it. I think it's gorgeous. I, oh, this one I did the, the double rhinestones. And I think it's just stunning with the double. I wish I would have done double here, but my daughter said it would look better with a single. And I did a single and I don't like it. Um, I'm going to open this up, and this trim right here is from Joann's I bought a while ago, and then, oh, got to glue that back down. This is um, beads trim from Kathy at Cats Out Create. She said she gets this at Hobby Lobby. Um, she gave it to me for my birthday last year. And then in here, I have a whole package of these rough phalo. Um, these are by the people that make the um, Ferrero Rocher, and there's an almond in there, and then there's this creamy white stuff, and then the coconut on the outside. Oh, they're so good. It's like my new favorite. It's my new favorite. So, um, I hope you like my project share, and I hope that you... If you desire to make one that you do that and post it and um, this one this one was not free I did say that okay uh, it's crazy um, you know we got the coronavirus and all that and then we also have the what's it called oh our fire alarm our buildings fire alarm went off tonight about 12.30 in the morning. Luckily, you know, with the coronavirus going, there's not much going on outside, so the fire department got here very quickly and shut it off. <laughs> uh, at least some part of life can get back to normal, right? All right, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I'm going to quit rambling, and um, I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.